The kettlebell clean is a variation of a kettlebell swing in that you're going for maximal bend in the hips and minimal bend in the knees using the hips as the driving force behind the power of the belt. That being said, it is a vertical projection though instead of horizontal projection. What does that mean? It means the weight, similar to Olympic lifting, is going to come straight up in front of the body and landing in front rack position. So, if you want to rehearse and break down the clean, whether it's single or double, it would kind of look like this, where you would do a row and then a stand and row at the same time, coming completely up using the power of your hips. Now, it is worth saying the ground that you're covering is from point A to point B, and we use the cue zipping your jacket. So, we don't want to hike the belt and then go out and then in creating a large amount of impact with the body. We want soft contact with the body. So a good way to rein that in is to not over grip the bell and swing it out, but instead we want to just pull it straight up in front of our body, have a nice light grip uh, at the top so that it doesn't flip over and bang you in the wrist or the chest for that matter. So practice softly doing your row and then standing and pulling at the same time going from A to B, with the bell landing right in the crook of your arm with a nice straight wrist here. Now, how do we make it a little bit more swing-like like we would in class? You're still gonna load behind the bell, about an arm's distance away. You're still gonna do your hike pass, just like the kettlebell swings, but instead of going out, you're gonna go up. So, loading behind the bell, maybe a light bell at first, and then this is a strong position, so you can add heavier weight later. You're gonna hike the bell, and instead of going out, whoop, you're gonna come straight up. Let the ball, bell fall into your lap, and then just bring it right back up again. That's the single kettlebell clean. And then while you're at it, if you wanna add double, you have two bells, You've got to create a little bit more power because you've got two bells now coming in between your legs and then coming up towards your face. Load behind the bell, take a nice deep breath. Pull straight up from the side of you so you can see that I am not projecting the bells forward but instead up. vertical as possible, catching the weight with your hips and your and the, your midsection, and then pulling them back into front rack position. What's great about front rack is from here, you can press, you can squat, you can go in for swings. It's a great position to set up for others, as you will see in some of the kettlebell complexes that we write in.